Hello everyone and welcome back guys to round 4 of the VGN, uh, what's this card? The Renault Clio Cup car, I almost forgot what it's what it's called, it's even on the screens. But yeah, today we're here then for round 4 of the championship which takes us to Watkins Glen. A bit of an interesting track on the hold for these cars, you know, low power and lots of straights. It's certainly going to be an interesting one to see how we fare here today. But yeah, starting on the grid though, we were down in P4, sadly very, very limited practice for myself. I literally got on about half an hour before this race. And yeah, so started P4, was honestly happy that I managed to get one clean lap in. But also, props to VGM, the very first time we've actually had two lobbies in, well, at least in the time I've been racing. Some people have been saying it has been in the past, others are saying it hasn't, so I, I don't really know. But yeah, first time at least for me that there has been two lobbies in VGM. Luckily, obviously, we did make it up into a lobby. For this one, obviously, you know, you, you can't score more points being in B-Lobby than in A. So, looking forward to these races, nonetheless, here at Watkins Glen. And, yeah, we had a couple of new faces as well coming in for round four of the championship. But, you know, at the moment, we're still just trying to build up that margin of safety as we head in towards the final couple of rounds. We never technically got a points update from last week. I could probably sort of manually go back through and work it out. But I think after Long Beach, we had a bet A. 40 point lead over Flex, uh, sorry, not over Flex, over Ryan, I'm going to say. You know, what? In, uh, sorry, Long Beach even, I should say. Yeah, it was a really, really good round for us. So, yeah, we, we certainly were able to capitalise there as Ryan and I almost get stuck together down this back straight there. I had to break or we would have, yeah, both been in the wall and probably both been out in at that situation there. So, yeah, that was not the best way to start this race. And, yeah, really the aim as we head in towards the final couple of rounds of this championship is just to try and keep outscoring Rai at the moment, probably, because, you know, he is our sort of main championship rival at the moment. Most other people have sort of missed one round or something like that. So, yeah, the aim is to just try and outscore Rai at the moment there. And, we, yeah, once again, we've got a couple of new faces, though. RZM Tactical from Rai's Motorsport. You know, formerly Aerox, I'm sure, you know, those of you that stick with the Forza scene have probably have heard of those guys as well, as well as RSR Nonny, who I'd never technically heard of. A lot of people were saying they're very, very quick, but yeah, no, I've personally never seen or raced them before, but still, you know, looking forward to, you know, racing some new names there. So we head up the hill, and we actually do get up the inside of Nonny, a bit of bunching up behind the, all of us here. And this car, with this tune, very, very weird in the slipstream. Sometimes you seem to be able to make great gains, other times you seem to struggle to even match the car in front. It really didn't make no sense there. Luckily, Nonny decided he'd bail out as we head in towards the bus stop here on lap two and yeah we would hold on therefore to p4 in this eraser there so we basically held even off the start and unfortunately you know tactical and flex really really able to you know get a breakaway in the early stages of this race and it's one of those weird ones where you know if you can work together quite well um then you know slipstream can be very very useful around here but really it just didn't quite work that way for ryan myself you know championship rivals it's probably never going to be you know neither of us really want to bail out Early on in these races here. Yeah, on to the end of lap 8. We had had a little bit of battling before this, but in all honesty, if I'd left in all the battling from tonight, this, this video would have been an hour long. It would have just been all three races in full, pretty much, you know. So I think to cut, be able to cut it down into 25 minutes, I still think, personally, is quite an impressive feat there. But on to lap 9 we go. Like I said, we actually get up the inside of Rise. We get ready to head up the hill, and we just about got the run through turn 1 there. And now it's going to be a drag race up towards the top of the hill. We've really got to try and scroll off as little speed as possible to avoid the inside curb as well. They're in almost a bit of contact between the pair of We're trying to just edge out in front of right here. We're still just about side by side. I've got in the room around the outside there, but luckily for me, he does bail out a little bit early. We trim the curb there ever so slightly, but yeah, we now move ourselves up into the podium places of this race there. Right, certainly can try to look back up the inside. Maybe he just gets caught out though over the grass as so we're able to get back around the outside on the exit on the corner there get ever so slightly better drive off the turn and now we yeah do hold on to p3 in this race there. luckily i'm picked up any damage just yet as well here but by the end though of the race we would make big big gains on flex over these last couple of laps here you know we wouldn't really be visibly close up until lap 14 here as we head in towards the final couple of corners of so tactical looks set to take his first race win of the championship, you know, in his very first race, props to him in the opening race of the night there. Through the final couple of corners we go, though, we were certainly going to think about trying to go for something on Flex here as well, perhaps, you know, in towards the final turn. He's going to try and play it a little bit defensive. We're going to try and go slow in fast out of the final corner there. Are we going to be able to get any sort of run on Flex? I don't think we are there, unfortunately. Dustin about holds on on the outside there, and he does come through for P2 at the end of the day there. So P4 to P3 in the first race of the night. I will certainly take that one there, and a good podium 
to kick off the evening. And yeah, like I said, the main aim at the moment is really just trying to outscore Rai. So yeah, we will take that when they gain a few points out of him after the first race of the night there. But obviously now we move into sort of the more exciting races, it's probably safe to say. You know, the more action-packed usually races of the evening, you know, the reverse grids and where we were doing some relegation and promotion, it basically worked out that it would just be two top 10 reverse grid races for race two and race three of the night, which means for race two, we are going to be starting down in P8 then for the second race of the night. See, Cozzy, Westmeister, Stamina, Martin, Lucky Sod, Rai, Nonny, myself, Lex, Tactical, and then the three guys that got promoted from B Lobby, Vision, Wompson, and ATP Freebie at the rear of the field there so we're ready then for the second round of the night starting a little bit lower down but you know it's just about trying to keep the first lap clean trying you know get a bit of a slipstream and everything like that it's five lights and away we go once again here for the second race of the night they're not really getting off to a particularly good start there nonny certainly gets a bit of a better launch in towards turn one than myself though we think about going for a move on the flex yeah nonny just just playing a little bit defensive as well their flex thinks about and look up the inside we light up the front tires as we go through the first couple of corners there ride does not get the run through turn one there, both myself and Nonny able to get around the outside as we now head up the hill here. And you can see there's a little bit of bunching up already here. We've got DOR Stamina, I think, and Westmeister as we head up the hill there. Three wide just in front of me as well. The Lucky Sod, are we going to be able to have a look up the inside? We're certainly going to try it there. Up the hill we go, Nonny, as well there. And we're potentially going to try and make it almost four wide as we head towards the top of the hill there. Luckily, Nonny bails out of that one. I bail out as well there. Trim the apex of Martin. And Stamina almost come to blows there. We're potentially going to be able to look around the outside of Stamina there. Take all the curb in the world on the exit of the corner there. And I think a little bit of lag between myself and Stamina as well there. As we now head out through Carousel. But that's certainly been a good start for myself. Up three places off the start of this race. Obviously, yeah, certainly have worse starts in VGN so far there. And you know, really, you know, we've got a lot of the other quick guys, you know, are now behind me. In this race, you know, the quick guys, but you know, we've still got you know, Stamina, Martin, West, and Cozzy are all certainly very, very quick on at Forza nonetheless. They're in towards the final corner, though. Stamina just runs a little bit deep there, misses his breaking point ever so slightly, clips the wall, and that is now going to be us up into P4 of this race. So, yeah, really, really good start to this week. See Cozzy and Westmeister side by side in towards the and then Martin just trying to apply a little bit of pressure as well as we head in towards the first and, well, one of the early breaking zones around this track. They're still almost three wide. On the exit there, we're going to try to look around the outside of Martin there as I think he got a bit squeezed out as we head up the hill here. Are we going to be able to come out on top in this one? I think we just about are there. We've got such a good run up the hill there, around the outside of Westminster potentially as well here. I don't think we're quite going to be able to get that one done. He's giving me the room, but no, Cozzy forces him to slam the door shut there. We just have to lift out the throttle ever so slightly. Is Martin going to try and have a look back up the inside that we can hold it around the outside? A little bit of contact. Between Cozzy and Westmeister there as we now head down in towards the next couple of corners. We're going to try and have a look up the inside of Cozzy. There are almost a big bit of contact there. Luckily, just a little bit. Cozzy keeps it pointing in the right direction. Then Martin gets back past the parents. There's even more contact. I almost get sim twitched out onto the full layout here at Watkins Glen there. But luckily, we somehow hold on for P4 in this race. So a huge amount of Constantine run up between absolutely everyone there as we head through those couple of corners there. And yet, yeah, no idea how Cozzy and myself held on to P3 and P4 here, you know, we've made it work for now, they're Cozzy a bit deep in towards the final corner, and once again, they're able to try and get another switch back move through that final turn there, and we're now going to slot ourselves up into P3 of this race, but now a big, big gap to Martin and Westmeister up the road here, are we going to be able to close up this gap over the next few laps here, we're certainly going to try and hope so as we head through turn one there, and well, that corner is just so, so critical around this lap, you know, it, it can easily cost you sort of two, three tenths if you don't quite get the run through that first turn there as now we head up the hill once again here and I don't think Coz is going to be close enough to really try and go for any sort of run as we head in towards the chicane here no he's not there and now all the way onto lap six you can see we finally close back up the gap to Martin as well here as we now head through turn one once more here now getting ready to come up the hill there. and you can see Martin got a bit of a weird gearing tune going on around this place he was very very quick you know right at the top end and then towards the couple you know towards the top of a couple of gears here but apart from that Struggling a little bit with top end speed in his Renault Clio there. We're certainly going to try and capitalise on this one. Have a look up and inside maybe as we head in towards the bus stop chicane here. We're just about going to be able to nudge alongside the ever so slightly later on the brakes. We're giving the room around the outside that slam the door shut through the bus stop. And now we move ourselves up into P2 of this race. And now we've just got to try and close the gap to Westmeister here. The end of lap 8, you can see he already started making a couple of mistakes 
from Westmeister here. You know, we, we were we were talking in party chat. You know, I think he is going to dive into the pit lane on the end of this lap. And I was just thinking at the moment, whatever he does, I'm going to do the opposite in this race. So if he tries to pit, I'm going to stay out. If he tries to, you know, if he stays out, I'm going to try and pit in this race here. See, in towards the final couple of corners, we are going to get confirmation in just a moment as to what is going on in this race here through the final corner we go there and is he gonna pit yes he definitely is way way slow on at that final corner there as we head through the final turn westmeister into the pits he goes and now we now held on into the lead of this race here and now we've really really got to try and nail this you know pitting in lap you know through the pit stops and everything like that and as you can see fast forward and on right towards the end of the pit lane such a long pit lane around at this place here as we come out of the pit lane you can see we are going to be up into the lead, but, you know, Westmeister is going to get a much better run right the way up the hill here. Cozzy up into P2 of this race there. Westmeister, you can see, comes back through into that net second place of the Grand Prix there. And you can see just that gap closing down so, so much as we head up the hill here. You can see as we get towards the top, though, you know, the, the faster we're going, the less he's going to be able to catch up as well. And we have been able to pull out that undercut over Westmeister there now, about 110 foot lead. And now we just need to try and keep it clean through the bus stop there. And luckily... That's what we were able to do. You know, cold tyres can be very unpredictable in this Clio car there as we head now down through turn one. Once again, you can see Martin is just kind of come out of the pit lane there and he's, he thinks about trying to play it defensive from myself, but nothing he could really do in that situation. We now move ourselves back up into the lead of this race. I think it's going to be quite close between Martin and Westmeister as well. There. I think West actually made a bit of a mistake in the latter stages of this race there, but through the final couple of corners, so it's going to be the win in the second race of the night there. Martin, Cozzi and Tactical all very, very close towards the end of this race. Really gave me a bit of a chance to get the breakaway there. And yeah, P1 at the end of the second race of the night there from P8 on the grid. I will certainly take that. And I've won the 20.868. Very, very happy with that fastest lap in the second race of the night there. But yeah, really, really happy with that one there. Certainly could have asked for much more in the second race of the night. I'm pulling out some good points once again over Rhino down in P8 then not quite the race that he would have wanted at the end of the day unfortunately got caught out in a little bit of trouble and that's the thing in this car you know when you're stuck on the reverse grid races you've really really got to try and carve your way through the field as quickly as possible you know you will just get caught out further down the field there but getting ready then for the third race of the night and like I said you know another effectively another reverse top 10 for the third race means we are going to be starting down in 10th place for the third and final race of the night, this is certainly going to hopefully be a good opportunity to try and capitalise some points there. Rise all the way up in P3, though, so it's certainly going to be difficult to try and close up on him there. But West, once again, starting right at the front of the field there. Freebie, Wright, Lucky Sod, Nonny, Cozzy, and then I think it was Tactical, Martin, and myself there. Down towards the rear of the top ten there. But the lights are coming on now, and it's five lights, and away we go for the final race of the night there. Starting all the way down in P10. Where are we going to be able to finish off in this third and final race of the night there? Martin in towards someone, you know, a little bit over the top, but just trying to decide on where he wants to position his car. We're certainly going to try and look up the inside there as Nonny unfortunately gets hung out to drive through that first corner there. Cozzy and Martin almost get locked together. They're lucky to be able to sort that one out nice and quickly there. So we made three places up through turn one there and, you know, a nice open door for myself there. And yeah, luckily we've actually put some heat through most of the tyres as well, through the first couple of corners, it's so, so scary trying to come in, in towards the bus stop. Still with cold rear tyres here. But yeah, good start for myself once again. Up into P7 and we have avoided the carnage of the first couple of corners. You know, it's so easy to concertina up and especially down in towards the bus stop as well here. But luckily, everyone keeps it nice and tidy there. Lucky Son makes a bit of a mistake as we head in towards Carousel. There. And I think there's going to be a bit of contact between him and Sam. And we're going to try and follow Tactical up the inside perhaps as we head now down at the hill once again here we're really gonna be able to try and get a good good run off the exit of the corner there stamina still on the inside of tactical there tactical really not getting the run that he would have wanted as well here as we head in towards the final couple of corners of the lap there and stamina back at the inside we think about trying to make it three wide through the final corner there. we're gonna bail out nice and early and luckily for me tactical sends it up the inside of stamina there. that's gonna give me a golden opportunity to get the switch back with that thread the needle between him and Cozzy there, and that's just now up into P6 of this race there. Stamina just in front as well as Lucky Sod here as we head down in towards someone trying to break nice and tidily in towards the first couple of corners there. I had to watch out. I thought Cozzy might try and go for a move up at the inside there. Everyone's sort of running a little bit wide through turn one just in front of me here is now heading up the hill once more here. Stamina 
still just in front of me here. Has he got a particularly good run on Lucky Sod? I'm not so sure he has at the moment there, but he's still trying to slot into the slipstream, you know, given, you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing, I would have probably tried to get onto the inside of him there, but no opportunity opening up this time around as we now head in towards this king, going to try and break it a little bit early in towards the corner there as we head through the bus stop and you just see stamina struggling a little bit on the exit of the corner there, Lucky Sod got a tremendous run through there this time around and we're just trying to cover off from Cozzy, thinking about having a look up the inside there, we do just want to hold on in that situation they get a bit of a better run on stamina as well as we now head down in towards the final couple of corners once again here and like I said this track is so momentum based at the end of the day that it was really really difficult trying to make particularly you know brave moves around this circuit because you you'll just risk losing you both a whole chunk of time there but in towards the final corner once again stamina just a little bit deep on the brakes there and that's going to once again be a nice open opportunity for myself there, not quite the run that he got in race two there, but we'll certainly give it over to a look up the inside in towards turn one here, running very, very close there, trying to give him a bit of a squeeze there, and he thinks about trying to go for a switchback move there, but we do get the car on to the apex, like a little bit of a punt on the exit of the corner there, which probably really saved me at the end of the day there, as we head now up the hill once again here, though stamina still should have a bit of a run on myself, you know, in the slipstream, everything like that, what is going to happen as we head towards the top of the hill here, Stamina, he is slowly but surely gaining with that time around, nothing he could really do in that situation there, as we now head in towards the final couple of corners of lap three now, all over the back of Lucky and Freebie there, and Lucky just clips the wall in towards the start finish straight there, and we're going to be able to have a look round the outside there, he's going to try and play it defensive, and it's absolutely key that we get the car fully in front before we get in towards turn one there, and luckily, you know, without the, you know, with the reduced momentum from Lucky saw there, nothing he can really do try and hang it up the inside at through turn one there and now we've got a bit of a run on freebie as well here as we now head up the hill once again here we're actually going to look around the outside as we head through turn three there are we going to be able to get the nose up the inside he's going to try and give me the squeeze there but we hold firm we hold the nose up the inside there and this could be absolutely critical in this race here he's got a bit of a better run towards the top end there what is going to happen as we head in towards the bus stop i don't really want to bail out of this one there freebie actually grazes the tire wheel there. I have no idea how he got away with that one there. It hangs me out to try through the next part of the corner there. But we're going to hold firm, try and keep the nose up the inside there. Lucky Sod actually makes it three wide through the corner there. But on the inside we go, and we now move ourselves up into P3 of this race. They're trying to take all of the exit curve as we possibly can there. But Freebie still going to be able to have a look, a bit of a look up the inside through, well, sorry, around the outside even, I should say, and towards the penultimate couple of corners there. But luckily this time around, nothing he was able to do in that situation. Now, Rye and Westmeister further up the road. We've got a mountain to climb if we want to try and close up to these guys there. But by the end, though, of lap 10, once again, a lucky safety car would come out and bunch up the field here. So we've got four laps to go of this race to really make it count. And let's just see what we can do then. Four laps to go. Go when we hit the line there. And yeah, obviously, understandably, Rye and Westmeister getting a bit of a better run as we head down in towards the moment. This could be a golden opportunity to try and get two wins at three in tonight's racing here. We had pretty much closed down the gap to West and Rye nonetheless here. You know, we still weren't quite able to make any sort of move work. And I didn't actually realise at the time that both of them had engine damage in this race as well here. So as we head up the hill once again here, Rye, what is he going to be able to do on Westmeister here? I think he's got about 1.2 and Westy's got about 0.8% in this race. And we've got absolutely nothing still in this race there. so this could be a golden opportunity for myself here. In towards just came Westmeister just that little bit later on the brakes. No one really wants to concertina up all too much there. It's still Cozzy just behind us as well. We've certainly got to watch out for him in this race as well as we now head through Carousel once again here. We are going to ride on board right the way through to the end of this race now, trying to get the drive off the exit of Carousel here. And, you know, it's this horrible gamble now in the championship you know we still want to make up the places we still want to win these races but we have also got to think about the championship as well here is in towards the final couple of corners of lap 11 we go there think about having a look around the outside of a rider hoping we can try and push him a little bit deep through the final corner and we've certainly tried to make it work that rider was going to play it defensive he's going to be wary of that move there we're going to be side by side down in towards turn one here so now the game is trying to get a bit of a cheeky switch back on him here in towards turn one they actually clipped the grass ever so slightly there we do get the car so down nice and tidy there we are going to be able to get a run on the exit of the corner there but he just runs a little bit wide and that's probably going to help him out a whole host here in this race so he's going to be able to get the run 
up the hill and once again here in here, you've really got to try to take some weird and creative lines to try and scroll off as little speed as possible. They're giving him a little bit of a punt down the straight, which once again is really going to help him out in this race here. And now we've got Cozzy thinking about having a look up the inside as well here. We're trying to just stay in the half toe of Rai as well here. Well, how is that Cleo just so fast towards the top end here? It's absolutely phenomenal from Rai there. And I'm pretty certain we were on the same tune as well here. So yeah, really not too sure how he was managing that one there. Cozzy though thinks about having a look up the inside that we squeeze him out over the curbs just a little bit there as he's actually going to be able to get a really good run on the exit of the corner there and luckily for me tactical is going to come in clutch there give me a little bit of a punt as we head down this back straightaway here he's actually I think going to try and make it three wide there we're just trying to stick right onto the front end of his car there we could easily be speared off into the wall that we accidentally get pushed down in towards Cozzy through the final corner there Cozzy has a look up the inside there we hold firm right around the outside we go there we do hold on to P3 of this race there but that's given Rai and Westmeister a little bit of a breakaway here now just two laps to go of this race and is uh, I think Tactical might be able to look up the inside in towards the one there I think he thinks better of it there a bit of contact actually me between the pair of them there as we head through to one and that's going to give myself once again a tiny bit of a breakaway from the two cars behind here and now we need to focus on Westmeister and Rai once again in this race here they you know what we need at the moment is those two to go a little bit side by side everything like that really just allow myself to try and close up we saw it at Long Beach last week you know, with uh, stamina and a vision thing, you know, those two, you know, just got caught out with each other and really be able to get two cars in one go here. Could we potentially see a repeat of that in this third and final race of the night here? Rai thinks about having a look at the inside, but uh, sorry, not stamina, Westmeister even, I should say, holds firm around the outside as we now head in towards Carousel for the penultimate time in this race here. And are we going to be able to get close enough? They were run a little bit wide on the exit of Carousel. They're really, really just trying to push, throwing absolutely everything at this car at the moment here and you know even if we can just get close potentially an opportunity could open up it's such a momentum based circuit here potentially a couple of last lap mistakes perhaps as we head through the final couple of corners I'm really just focusing on hitting my apexes getting the drive of the corners here you can see just how much we've been able to close up through those final couple of corners there we've got a slightly better run than a rise we head down in towards turn one here but we've still got tactical behind as well here we do need to watch out potentially for him in towards turn one once again there. Rai's going to try and go for a bit of a switchback move on at Westmeister there. Runs a little bit wide through the first corner. We just might keep it between the white lines through that turn at one there. And you can see West up the hill we go there. Is Rai going to be able to get a bit of an opportunity here? He's certainly going to try and have a look for it. What is going to happen here? Westmeister obviously defends the inside. We're going to try and go for a bit of a slingshot move there. But nothing we can do with a lack of power in this car. Rai to the outside he goes though is he going to be far enough alongside to really go for anything on Westmeister he's certainly going to try it there we're going to break just a little bit early don't want to get caught up in anything there if they two get stuck together there through the corner we go and well Westmeister has held on for now there and unfortunately the carnage that I was you know sort of anticipating sort of almost expecting in this race trying to watch out for has not happened just yet there and tactical now all over the back of me there doesn't quite get the run off the exit of the corner there nor has Rai we're going to be able to have a look up the inside in towards the penultimate corner of this race there side by side we go in towards the final turn Rye's going to try and give me the squeeze out over the curbs so we're going to try and use the grass to our advantage there muscle him out wide ever so slightly there Rye's going to obviously try to hang the nose up the inside there we don't actually get the run off the exit of the final corner there but Rye just gives me the room there and luckily you can see with the engine damage it's going to be side by side down towards the line who's come out on top it is ourselves there by one thousandth of a second at the line. That was one of the best finishes to a race I think I've ever had on at Forza. And I was honestly through those final couple of corners. I was trying to get the switch back on a ride there. You know, really just focusing on, you know, going slow and fast out there. But he, he held it on the inside and just scrubbed off just that little bit too much speed out of the final corner there. And we were able to make it work one thousandth of a second at the end of the day there. Westmeister wins the third race of that ahead of myself. Rye, Tactical, Cozzy, Stamina, Lucky Sob, Martin, Nonny. And Tigawu at the end of the day there. And well, once again, just going to save that replay as well at the end of the day. They're going to delete some more footage, I think, from one of the opening rounds of this championship there. But there we are then. That is the end of round four of this series. Finally having a look at the points as well here. And you can see myself now 71 points clear of Rai, 105 ahead of Westmeister Hero with just 200 points available as we head in towards the final couple of rounds of this championship, I really, really do need to try and keep it clean, keep it consistent. And yeah, hopefully we can finish off the season 
on a high there. But that is the end of the highlights from Watkins Glen. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video as well. We are certainly in a good stead to try and wrap up this title. Hopefully, you know, as we head in towards the next couple of rounds, we can try and build up a little bit more of a gap. I'd love to sort of head into the final race. We know a good 90-point lead as we head in towards the final rounds of the championship. But yeah, like I said, thank you all so much for watching. Get yourself subscribed if you're new around here as well. And I will hopefully see you guys next time for another video.